Hello guys, just a short little video to show you how to get this mysterious VNAV button work in the G1000 from X-Plane. One thing in advance, um, VNAV can only be used for descent. Um, so we're on our way, flying at 4000 feet, and at our next waypoint we're supposed to be at 2000 feet. And we want to use VNAV to guide us and tell us when to start our descent that's called the top of descent and to tell us the rate of descent mm. this little video down sorry this little window down here um, is all about VNAV and as you can see there's nothing in it and it says active VNAV waypoint but nothing is shown here so how do we get this information uh, to be locked in here well basically you just select the altitude and press enter and now it becomes so-called designated it becomes blue and blue is true and as you can see the waypoint is locked in here and VNAV has calculated a top of descent that is our this little dot here is the top of descent and it shows us the target vertical speed that we need to descend from here down to here to 2000 feet and it shows us the time when we will arrive at the top of descent and shows us the flight path angle what is that um, let me show you. Um, if I wanted to start the descent later, but then descend steeper, I could adjust the flight path angle. I could uh, increase it and watch how the top of descent moves away from us as I decide to, or as I manipulate this number. Let's set this to three degrees and press enter. Okay, so that's number one. Um, basically, pretty simple, I just designated um, the altitude of the next waypoint which has to be lower than the one I'm currently flying of course since VNAV is only working for descent then the profile gets active so second um, you have to reset the selected altitude this number here and I'm gonna just select 2000 since that is the altitude of our next waypoint uh, at which VNAV will then level off um, you can see the profile appearing here and coming down that's number two and uh, number three um, if you so desire you can now um, press and arm VPath by pressing this button as you can see VPath becomes armed and uh, just a side note you can do so only if you have the top of descent still ahead of you okay um, so you must not be high on profile if you overfly this point and um, you can no longer use this uh, function okay that's it I'll just wait and when crossing this point when this number increases and equals this number um, we'll cross the top of descent and the plane will start to descend automatically there's no notification whatsoever and you can hear um, the thrust going back this mod has some auto throttle um, so keep this in mind without auto throttle you might have to or you you would have to compensate um, and bring the thrust back um, because you will gain speed when starting to descend okay as we have some time let me point out just one or two little side notes um, watch that I cannot uh, or that I can only select this altitude and change it or designate it or undesignate it um, but I cannot select this altitude or this in fact um, any waypoint starting from the final approach fix um, cannot be selected or cannot uh, cannot be designated um, so if you have an approach loaded that starts with the final approach fix um, you might not be able to designate any altitude so then you would have to add a waypoint before the final approach fix which you can then use to designate um, the altitude the reason for that is that since we're flying an LS approach um, we are from here on uh, supposed to use radio guidance um, we are supposed to use the glide slope and the localizer and VNAV can only or VNAV brings us only down to the last waypoint before the final approach fix okay keep this in mind so um, we'll just wait um, until we cross 
this waypoint and um, one thing that you will notice is um, that when we are on our way to our final approach fix um, the CDI source will switch over automatically um, to the localizer because again this is an ILS approach um, I will not press any button so let's just wait um, and now as you can see we're on our, on our way to the final approach fix and um, watch this didn't press anything the CDI source switched over automatically to the localizer and the localizer is already engaged as well um, so all we have to do is wait for the glide slope to come down and um, the localizer is engaged and um, captured but um, the glide slope has to s be armed still has to be armed um, so I have to you still have to press the approach button to arm the glide slope and um, again as we leveled off um, too many things happening at the same time as we leveled off um, we lost speed and the auto throttle system again compensated and gave it more thrust in order not to lose speed when leveling off you uh, keep this in mind if you fly without auto throttle you have to compensate by yourself there's no warning whatsoever um, that the plane is leveled off so the glide slope is coming down um, we already armed the glide slope and we we'll just have to wait for it to come down um, let's deactivate the auto throttle now and um, the glide slope is captured and as I restart the descent down to the runway I have to manually take back the thrust let's just give it some flaps and um, bring the gear down to well to bring it down and to give give it some drag because we have to lose um, some speed we're quite fast I'll go full flaps which gives a lot of drag so um, I really have to give it some thrust in order not to get too slow I'm gonna aim for uh, let's say 85 knots or so to be honest I'm not sure what's the perfect um, final approach speed but I'll just go for 85 knots um, and I think that should be okay I could use the auto throttle but I'm um, just gonna try it by myself So my joystick is quite responsive, I'm afraid. Um, should have adjusted that. Um, so it seems as though we're trimmed out. Um, gear down, flaps, full um, speed is okay. Maybe a bit too fast. Let's try to land this. And since I find this plane hard to land, I'm gonna engage the brakes already um, and see if this prevents the plane to float or bump around after touchdown the plane is quite responsive to changes in thrust and changes um, in the trim setting so uh, you have to be quite careful let's see how this works out So until now it looks okay.
Okay. And throttle back. And at least there was no floating and no bumping around. Um, of course, in reality, we would have to get off the runway. But I uh, just want to replay the touchdown real quick to see how it worked out. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right. Um, let me just repeat real quick what I did. Um, I had a waypoint ahead of me um, with an altitude lower than the one I was currently flying. I designated um, this altitude on the flight plan so that it became blue. Blue is true. Um, the profile became active. I resetted the selected altitude to a value that is lower than the one I'm currently flying. I was currently flying. I just selected 2000 because that was the altitude of the last waypoint. And I then pressed the V path button and armed V path um, yeah, by pressing this button, um, which I could only do because I still had the top of descent ahead of me. Really important to know. Yeah, the plane started the descent automatically. Um, the autothrottle system compensated for um, the gain of speed and um, next step it leveled off. Again, the autothrottle compensated for the speed. Um, the CDI so switched over to uh, the radio, to the localizer. I still had to engage um, the glide slope and arm it. And then I restarted the descent. Um, again, I had to compensate and adjust the speed and then I would just bring the plane down and land it. So I hope this helps you to get um, VNAV or this button work and um, yeah thanks for watching and goodbye